Okay, in this video I want to use uh, Dreamweaver CS4 to go over different ways to use style sheets to format your web pages. So I'm going to go ahead and click on File, New, and I'm going to create a new blank HTML document, and I'm going to use XHTML 1.0 Strict, and Create. And there's a blank page, I'm in Code View, let me jump over to Design View. And let me start to put some elements on this web page. And I'm going to do this kind of fast and dirty at first. I'm just going to make a web page without really giving a lot of attention to my CSS panel over here at the moment, which I will be looking at a little bit more closely in just a second. I just want to get some elements on this page that I can play with. Let's see, I will jump over to my layout tool and I'm going to put in a I'm going to put an in I'll put a div tag in. My div tag is going to have a special ID talk about this more a little bit later and I've talked about it in other videos on web design but div elements are extremely popular in modern web design current web design and they should all be uniquely identified for the most part okay so I'm gonna go ahead and create a section here this div section will be called my uh, let's see how about my header that div will have a unique ID at the insertion point there we go and I'm going to create another div. Um, this one will be called uh, the ID of it. It's going to be called I'll call it the sidebar. Notice I'm not using any spaces for these ID names. I'll click OK there. And one more div to go. This div ID will be called the main section. Click OK. There we go. So now I've got my three divs. And if I were to look at this in code view, I would see, sure enough, I've got three divs. Each of them is uniquely identified. And um, there's some generic text content in there. Oh, look at this. When I press that enter key, it did create this empty paragraph. I'm going to delete this right here in code view. Get rid of that paragraph. Get rid of that space. Don't really need it. Back over to design view. And here are my three div sections. Okay, now let's see if I can't do this all in less than 10 minutes, since that's my max for YouTube videos. Okay, what I want to do is I want to create style rules for each of my three divs. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to my styles panel over on the right side, and I'm going to create a new CSS rule. And look at this, it already knew that I had main section selected, but that's not the one I want to mess with first. I want to create another one. Of course, my contextual selector type for my CS, choose a selector type. Um, class selectors I'm not using at the moment. ID selectors is really what I'm using. They're going to apply to one particular HTML element. Tag selectors I might use in a little bit, like for the body of the page or for all headline ones. And compound, I might end up using little, this a little bit uh, later on too. Let me go for an ID right now, ID. And for IDs, you have to put that pound sign or number sign in front of it. I call it pound sign. It seems like everybody else in my classes calls it the number sign. So I'm going to call it the pound sign though. Um, and I'm going to do pound sign header. Choose where your rules will be defined. I'm going to define them on a new style sheet file, which I haven't created yet. I'll click OK and I'm going to put my style sheet file in here and this is going to be called I'll call it uh, divpractice.css and I'm going to save that click OK and I'm getting my CSS rule definitions here uh, now this is for my header div just to make this a little bit clear and fast I'm just going to jump over to border and I'm going to give this a green border on all four sides and I will make it a medium border and I'll click OK. Oops, now it doesn't look like I have my green border. When everything is working perfectly you should see a green border around this. Well I've created a CSS rule. It's over here in my CSS panel. We can see it. There's my header. Okay, and if I had a little bit more room to work here, which I don't really have a lot of room. Um, there's my border controls. However, my divpractice.css has never been attached to my HTML file, which I actually haven't saved yet. Let me go ahead and take a moment to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and click File, Save, and I'm going to save this into my Web Pages 09 Summer where I've been saving some other items. And I'll go ahead and call this divpractice.html. There we go. 
and I need to link up my div practice CSS file to my div practice HTML file. So I'm going to use this little chain link attached style sheet button, the URL that I want. I'm going to browse for it. It's in my styles menu, div practice CSS. There it is. And I'm going to do the link method as opposed to the import method. Link is probably the most popular, however, some sites do use an import technique. You can check that out a little bit on your own or in some future video. Media type, yes, I'm going to do media screen. This is how I want my page to look on the screen. So there's the CSS, the media type, click OK. OK, so I've got them linked up, and there's one more fix I have to make. I think I for forgot this before. Let me go and edit my style, and I'm going to go over to this border and I forgot to put in a style for it so solid border there we go click OK and there it is let's do this again start to finish and so now I've got everything connected my um, page is connected my style sheet is connected to my web page <clears throat> let's go through the sidebar now I'm gonna add a new rule for my sidebar it's gonna go to my div practice CSS click OK and I will give this a border and I'll do solid, medium, red, click OK, there it is. Ooh, let's do a couple more things to it. Let me go back and edit that rule. And I'm going to set the width. OK, I'll go to the box area. The width of this is going to be a value. And, well, I don't actually choose value. I'm going to type it in by hand. I'll put in 250 pixels. And I'm going to float this thing to the left click OK look at that and then my uh, main section create a new rule attach I'm sorry new CSS rule there we go for main section in my CSS click OK for box check this out I'm gonna uncheck margin <coughs> and I'm gonna do a margin left of 250 pixels Okay. Now I'm doing a little layout trick here, but this uh, we'll talk about more of this in another video, I think. Uh, I'm going to do a margin left of 250 pixels, and I'm going to go to border, and I'm going to give this a solid, medium, what have I used so far? I haven't used bright, no, I haven't used orange. I'll do orange, and just so it really stands out for us, let me go to background, I'll put a background color in of yellow. There we go. So this is what I've got. And I'm going to do a one little fix. Actually, this is actually pretty good. Even though I do see a little bit of border overlap, that's okay. Um, design view is really probably not the best way to look at a page here, um, especially when we want to compare in multiple browsers. But that's pretty good for now. So I've got a sidebar area, header area, and I've got my main section area. If my main section area has a bunch of content in it, let me just do a little copy and pasting. Makes it look like I type a lot. There we go. It's just going to keep moving itself down because it's got that left margin. And if I wanted a little bit more margin, I could certainly put a little bit more margin in there. Um, but that's the basic idea for layout. So I've got this CSS file. Since I mentioned it earlier, let me go and create another new CSS rule. But this one is going to be a tag selector. And I'll do this one for the body of the page. And the body is going to have. I'll put um, padding. I'm going to do padding on the body. That'll give it a little bit of cushion. I'll do 20 pixels all around. There we go. It gives me 20 pixels of cushion all around the page. And that's how my page looks with some divs that are being formatted with some styles. Uniquely identified divs, in fact. 